Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life guys. So in this video today, <laughs> we're going to be doing a recyclable project guys. I took these three storage containers, well they're storage containers now. But I took these recyclable items outside, I spray painted them in that beautiful burgundy color. Okay, I'm really into this color and that green color. And I did spray the lids differently, I sprayed them in the metallic gold. Because I like the lids to be a different color now. And then, I'm going to show you what I use, guys. Let's jump into the project so you, you can see what I'm using here. These small little doilies, guys, here's, i got to put them back in there backwards. Um, Michaels has uh, this name brand here. It's called Celebrated Collection. And they have the doilies in silver, metallic silver, metallic gold, white, you know, and in all sizes. So I grabbed the smallest doily, okay, in the gold because we'll be using those. Then Dollar Tree has... Um, this cardstock notebook type of thing and you could use these in crafting and then there's parts over here where you can write notes anyway it's called Project Life Becky and so I pull these embellishments from the top of the lid out of this book okay now in the middle of the doilies, you're going to see the initials. These are my kids' initials, okay? So I placed their initials right in the center of each one of these doilies. And we're going to be embellishing those cans with those initials there right on that doily. And these are the letters we'll be using. I don't know what happened to the top part of the tag, but that's the font we'll be using. You'll see when I when I um, remod podge all this together. Okay, guys, let's jump into the project so you can see how let's see how this is going to turn out i have a little container here of water because this cardstock is a little bit thick i'm going to drop these in the water what that does is it softens the paper okay and it makes it easy for me to apply so i have some mod podge over here we are going to be using the gloss finish guys So it looks like a lot, guys, because it is. <laughs> we're gonna lay down the. Um, we're gonna we're gonna lay down one of these papers here. You need to get some of that excess water off. And I'm gonna lay that right in the center. Okay. Then we're going to seal that in. And actually, the whole thing should be sealed because we don't want that paint to come up either. Once we lay that down. going to go around the lid okay, so here we go so we, we seal that now I'll go grab this paper okay we take off the excess water and then we place it in the center right where you want it and then we seal that in This way everything is nice and sealed in. Then we can move on to the, uh, the doilies. I'm going to go ahead and move these lids over. And now we'll start with the doilies. Okay, so the doilies are much thinner than that cardstock, but we are going to be using Mod Podge. So. The only area here I'm concerned about is um, the area where the joint is laying. Even though I'll probably go back later and seal the whole can. Because I think I might have to cut. Yep, and I do. So I want to figure out the placement before I cut. On the 
top and from the bottom. I'm going to cut. Then we'll place that doily right where we want it. Lay that down. Now we're ready to seal. Okay? Because it fits perfectly on the can. So we go back. And now we want to seal the whole thing. This seals the letter onto the doily and the doily onto the can. So like I said before, I'll go back in after all of this is dry. And I'll seal the whole can, you guys. But for now, this is what that's looking like. I think it looks beautiful. You just want to make sure the doily is not going to go anywhere. Okay, so that's can number one. Let me go back. Since I already know how much I have to cut, I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one. Anything you want. You can even give this to someone and place something in it. If it's for an office, maybe paper clips or things like that. Like I said, I'm just giving you some ideas. So that, guys, is what that's looking like so far. So these lids are not dry yet guys, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the uh, drying process here and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so this is what we have. The, the cans are not totally dry, but they're dry enough guys. Isn't that beautiful? And then the Mod Podge lives such a beautiful glossy finish. If you don't want the glossy finish, make sure and use the matte finish. But for this particular project, when you're going fancy, you want gloss, when you're doing farmhouse or you want to tone down a little bit so you might want to use the matte i use the high gloss i mean the um the gloss finish mod podge and i just want you to see the difference see how shiny it is here and over here it's matte i like them either way it just depends on what i'm decorating like i said these containers are with my kids initials on them and i figured i'd use them to so they can just place their little whatever whatever knickknacks or whatever these are the lids, guys, and like I said, they're not fully dry. This one's almost dry, okay? So that kind of decorates the lid a little bit and also helps to blend in that doily, okay? So there you go. So we took, uh, we took um, a recyclable item, and we made some personalized containers out of them, and this is just an idea for you. Guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Everything I use to create this craft is down in the description box below. Click like, share, comment. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Make sure and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. So I'll see you guys in another video.